child of an artist, one of the wonderful gifts that he gave us is to, one, color outside the lines, to think about things in a much bigger perspective than we do, um, and to really rejoice whatever creative endeavor we go into. But uh, he, uh, he was devoted. This was his passion. This is what he did. Um, he loved his family and, and you know, uh, he loved his life, but he also was an artist. And, and to the point sometimes where he may have gone a little mad with, you know, some of his art, but that was his passion. That's what ruled his, his life. As I pulled around, there's this huge dumpster, and you can see all these cans being thrown out. My father jumps out of the dumpster and sees me and he's like, Sarah, look at all these cans I can make rattles with. This is so cool. My father interacted well with people that he loved, but sometimes the world as a whole was very overwhelming to him. The amount of work, I just hate for it just to sit in a studio, and so uh, my brother Ethan Fraze has really been um, instrumental in making sure that we have many artworks showing at many different places. But to finally get to see, and I think there's a lot of curiosity too. I mean, the kind of work that my father puts out there, a lot of people like, this man's been working reclusively for many, many years and is producing um, a multitude of works we want to see. I mean, who doesn't want to see that, you know, because there's, it's so diverse. He at least did 10 drawings a day. What he would find is that nine of them will practice and maybe one original will come out. Um, we have found many, many books, sketchbooks, hundreds, and I'm not kidding you, probably thousands of books. Some of them with in themselves are miraculous art pieces. I think my father is smiling down upon us um, and he gets the recognition um, that he always deserved.